A virtual circuit is a logical connection between two DTE devices. So it's called a virtual circuit because it's not an actual electrical connection, but rather a logical connection. Now, a permanent virtual circuit or a PVC is a pre-configured connection established between more than one um, endpoints. So maybe Regina and Saskatoon need to communicate often. So with, from those two offices, maybe you've got a PVC defined there. Uh, maybe Calgary and Saskatoon also need to communicate often. So maybe you've got a PVC assigned there. And now let's make one from Regina to Toronto. There we go. So if Toronto needs to communicate with Saskatoon, it doesn't have a direct virtual circuit there. So Toronto has got to go through Regina and then Regina can communicate to Saskatoon. Um, the way that these, that data gets from one point to another is through a numbering system for the virtual circuits. They're called DLCIs and a DLCI is a number that is locally significant to each uh, endpoint, each virtual circuit. Um, let's say that that Regina has a virtual or a DLCI value. Let's say Regina to Saskatoon here, this is 100. Regina to Toronto we'll say is 200. Calgary to Saskatoon we'll say is 300. And then, and then the other end of the virtual circuit will have a different number. So maybe the Saskatoon going to Regina is 400 and the Saskatoon going to Calgary is 500. So you can think of these DLCIs as exit interfaces. Now you're going to exit. So from Regina, if we want to go to Saskatoon, the packet's going to go through virtual circuit or DLCI 100. So it's going this way. And then as it traverses over here, it actually comes into Saskatoon with a DLCI label of 400 because that's when it, what it came in through. Um, if we were going from Saskatoon to Calgary, we're going to leave Saskatoon out virtual circuit or DLCI 500 and it's going to travel all the way down here and it's going to come in as DLCI 300. Now when I said that these DLCIs are locally significant, that allows us to have duplicate DLCI numbers because it's really only the device that it's going out on that cares about that number. So we could in fact have, um, oh we don't have anything for uh, the Toronto office here. So maybe the Toronto office has a DLCI of 300, okay? Just like the Calgary office has a DLCI of 300, but because it refers to your exit, it doesn't matter that those are the same. So if Toronto is going to Regina, it's going to start on DLCI 300 and it'll come in on DLCI 200, right? If we're in Calgary, sure, we're gonna start out DLCI 300, but if we're going to say Saskatoon, it'll come in as 500. So just think of that DLCI as the number referring to the exit interface, and they are, can be duplicates because there's, there, they only matter to that specific endpoint, that router that's shooting it out. Now, the only place where you can't have duplicate DLCIs is say, you know, here from Saskatoon, we have a pathway to Regina, we also have a pathway to Calgary. Well, we can't very well have each of those labeled as the same DLCI because then it's confusing. Well, which path do I take? Do I take this path or do I take this path? So in that aspect, you can't share DLCIs, but otherwise, they're only, they only matter to the device that they're being sent from. So you can, it allows you to have duplicate DLCIs and then you don't have to worry about everything being unique.